Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews, part two of the Buxton Brewery Trilogy. <laughs> uh, this is their double IPA, the Axe Edge, 6.8% ABV, bottle condition. Uh, it says it's award-winning, strong, quote-unquote, uh, hopped with a stunning blend of European, North American, and New Zealand varieties, 500ml uh, bottle. It's interesting this has wheat in it, too. But uh, not much else on here, so let's just get into it. Right, it looks pretty much the same as the Wild Boar. This is, again, it's like a, a very light orange, almost kind of gold color. Slight bit of haze to it. See a little more carbonation than the other one. A little bit bigger head on it, too, and a white, creamy froth. Smells very similar to uh, the Wild Boar, too. Lots of orange in this one. Uh, like that candy kind of orange sherbet ice cream type of orange. Real sweet. Um, kind of a little bit of citrus in there. Not a whole, like some kind of really mild kind of tropical fruit candy like uh, like Starburst or or uh, you know like a Spreeze or something like that. Smells and looks pretty good. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Hmm. That's definitely more bitter, bitter than the wild boar. That was the first thing I noticed as soon as it hit my tongue. And lots of bitterness, but not like an absurd amount of bitterness. Not like a ruination bitterness. This one remains bitter throughout the whole thing. Nice kind of sharp, palate cleansing bitterness. Um, I can taste like, like when I got on the nose, like that orange sherbet. Uh, orange candy kind of sweetness and I mean it's definitely a little bit more sweet than it is like tart or acidic um, you know it's not like a juicy like nectary type IPA uh, I mean it says they're made with new hops from all over the place Europe here and New Zealand so I noticed that New Zealand like the Alpine Nelson and like Peter's homebrew and the one I did the wild boar a little bit of like that kind of orange drink kind of uh, taste, so almost like a kiwi. So you get a little bit of that in here. It's kind of, it's like I said, like kind of like an orange candy flavoring, not like a not like a sugary one, not a sticky one, not a sappy syrupy one. This has a little bit more mouthfeel than the wild boar. Um, seems a little bit thicker. Has a little bit more like energy, a little more you know density on the tongue uh the fl the palate is is more full-bodied and it's i think it's just as drinkable as as the wild boar goes down very smooth hops don't really linger here i mean it's like slightly dry but um it's actually you know kind of refreshing though to the mouth well i mean this one's off to a good start so uh i'm gonna sip on this for a little while we'll come back with my final thoughts on the axe edge Alright, I am back finishing up the Axe Edge. Gotta say, I definitely like this more than the Wild Boar. This is definitely what I would look for in a single slash extra slash light double IPA. I mean, they call it a double IPA. and You know, by British standards, like, I guess this would be a double. It certainly has enough bitterness. I, I mean, I didn't really notice it at first. But, you know, the more I drink, I, and plus more of the hops linger, it definitely does seem like it's probably in the 60s or 70s as far as uh, IBUs go. And it has that, you know, more consistent, solid, like, weight in the mouth, um, and just, you know, energy level of, like, an extra kind of IPA. Like, this is, it's kind of comparable, I guess, like, to Sierra Nevada Torpedo. Um... But it does have the, the drinkability of a single IPA. You know, when I think double, I think a sticky, sappy, you know, resinous IPA. This is not. This is uh, very crisp. Uh, the Wild Boar, I thought, was like too thin and too tepid to be crisp. But this is this is what that beer is lacking. It's a little thicker, a little more crisp, a nice hot bite on the end there. Um, very good uh, palate cleanser here. And I say this one is is quite versatile because I'm I'm really enjoying this just drinking it on its own. 
But I could see this going really, really well with a meal. Um, that being said, I mean, it's not the world's greatest beer or anything. I'm going to butter it all up, just take it down now. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like it. This is a very good beer. Um, so I will give it an 8 out of 10. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for the Buxton Axe Edge Double IPA. I think it's, you know, very good. Um, definitely, you know, something I could see myself drinking uh, definitely more often than the Wild War. Can I say definitely anymore? I sound like freaking Rain Man. So, um, yeah, so that does it for this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I'll see you guys on Friday. Cheers.